How to show space in a landscape. Start by drawing a horizon line. This is just a straight line right across your paper. Next, draw your flowers from big to small. Start by drawing your biggest flowers at the bottom. And as you get further up the page, towards the horizon line, your flowers are going to get smaller and smaller. When you make your flowers get smaller, it's going to create the illusion of space going far away. Next, you're going to color the middle of your flowers. Don't forget, color from big to small. Now we're going to color the petals from big to small too. Don't worry if you color outside the lines. We're coloring in the style of an impressionist painter like Claude Monet. It's okay if it looks a little messy and dotted. That means you're doing it right. I'm going to speed it up a little bit faster, but I just want you to see how the flowers are starting to become smaller as I paint them closer to the horizon line. You can also use a Q-tip to paint with or your fingertip. You don't have to use a paintbrush. It's starting to look really good by now. We're going to add grass lines in between each of the flowers and just kind of fill up all that white space. Remember, we don't want any peekaboos showing through. We don't want to see any white space. You can even see that some of my lines are not even lines anymore by the time I reach the horizon line. They're almost like tiny little dots of grass. Now for the final step. We're going to color in a sky and a background with details. We both decided, me and Mr. Jirasi, to add a sun, but we can still color our skies in different ways. Mr. Jirasi wanted to make mountains for his details, and I wanted to make an ocean in my background. We both had the idea to make a sunset sky, but look at how different they turned out. Don't forget to take a picture of your artwork. I can't wait to see it.